Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a scroll magic scene and trigger it for multiple elements on the page with the same class. Okay, this is great for dynamically generated content, whether it's coming from WordPress or another CMS, and you have a multiple sections and you want to trigger specific animation or tween when that section comes into a view. Okay, this is based on the question from Richard from the Greensock forums. So Richard, this video is for you. Firstly, we'll create a simple HTML. I've got a simple code pen demo with a blank HTML pane and inside of it we'll write a paragraph with content one. It will be the first paragraph and we'll give it a class fade in. Okay, this class will be reused on multiple elements and we'll be using the jQuery each loop to loop through all these elements and fade them in. Okay, the CSS would be very simple. We would have a simple paragraph with a text align center, padding 300 pixels at the top and bottom and right and left to zero. We'll change the font size to 30 pixels and we'll transform the text to uppercase. Okay, so text transform uppercase. And now we have seven containers spread out throughout the page. And now we'll try to write a controller and the scroll magic code to make them fade in one by one. We'll switch to the JavaScript. And the first thing we'll need to do is in it the controller. This will tie all the animations to the scroll bar. Var controller equals new scroll magic dot controller, opening, closing brackets and semicolon. And then we will loop through all the elements that we want to fade in. All the elements with class fade in. And we'll use the jQuery each function and we'll loop through the elements with the class dot fade hyphen in. Inside of the loop, the first thing we want to do is build a tween. Var tween equals tween max dot from. We'll use the from method. We will animate for now the dot fade in. We'll change that a little bit later. The duration will be 0 0.3. And the properties we want to animate is auto alpha 0. So from auto alpha 0 and scale 0 0.5. And the initial Y offset will be 30 pixels. So we'll move it slightly up as well. And we'll change the ease to ease linear ease none. So this is our twin. That's the declaration how we want the elements come into the view. Now we can build a scene for each of these elements individually. That's why it's included inside of the each function. Var scene equals new scroll magic dot scene opening closing brackets and inside of it curly brackets. That's where we define the trigger element. Okay, trigger element will be this. Okay, so inside of the each function the this refers to the fade in element. Okay, so each individual item will be the trigger for the twin. Now we'll simply add the twin by using the dot set twin method and passing the variable twin to it. This will trigger a twin max twin for us. And now we'll simply add this to the controller. So add to and controller. And that is the code for now. Now we will refresh it in a browser. We'll see that the first one is animating on a page load. The other ones disappearing and are not really working as we expected. When we look at the developer tools and do the animation again, we'll see that all the fade in elements have a style, inline styles applied to it because they all animating at the same time. Okay, so that's not exactly what we wanted. We'll need to tweak slightly the twin, the from twin and change the object that we want to animate into something else. So let's go back to the JavaScript and change the fade in to dollar sign and this in a bracket. This will pass it the individual fade in items to the twin and now they will animate individually one by one. So only one item at a time will have the class applied to it. They're all hidden by default because the twin is set to from 
and then one by one they are fading in so you'll see the inline styles apply to individual items instead of all of them at the same time it always it's been always triggered when the element comes into the middle of the viewport because we've got the large padding at the top and bottom that's when the elements are becoming in the middle of the viewport but visually it might look like they they becoming visible slightly towards the bottom of the page but that's because of our tall padding play with the settings play with the css if you haven't watched my previous video the visual guide to scroll magic that will explain how and when the animations are triggered by default and there you have it hope that answers your question richard thanks again for getting in touch on twitter and if you have a question regarding scroll magic or green sock implementation leave them under the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel share the video with other front-end developers and i'll see you in my future videos until then happy coding Bye.